Hi, is this JR? It is. How are you? How are you, sir? Uh, thanks for joining us here for a couple seconds on the Humble and Fred Show around North America on Sirius XM. Uh, I, this man, if you're a wrestling fan, he doesn't need a lot of introduction. He's a, uh, just he's a legend. He's done everything from commentating to wrestling and was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Jim Ross, everybody. Woo! Come on. Come on. What the hell? Now you're doing an evening with Jim Ross? What do, what do you get out there? You do some songs, you play the banjo, you got a box, and you tap on it. What do you do? What do you do, Jim? I, harmonica. Mm-hmm. And, uh, nice. I do it nude. <laughs> That's nice. I, I, do, I tell some stories. You can't be in the wacky world of pro wrestling for 40 years and not have a few stories. Because I got in in the 70s when things were just a little bit different then. What yeah. was different? Yeah, can you maybe start with that? Some of the differences. Highlight how it was in the 70s, where it exploded in the 80s with Hulk Hogan and WrestleMania. And what was the, what was the beginnings of it for you? In the 70s in the South, uh, there were no athletic commissions. Uh, there, were, there was no drug testing. There were no contracts. Everyone was an independent contractor who worked on a handshake. So uh, the lifestyles, shall I say, were... Uh, a little bit cavalier and Wild West-like. I wasn't related to anyone in the business. It was kind of mafioso-like. You had to know somebody to get in, and I, I kind of slipped in the back door. Um, with professional wrestling, what did they used to... What was the disclaimer? An exhibition of science and athleticism or something? That's That was some sort of a disclaimer whereby, you know, it wasn't like professional boxing where, you know, the outcome wasn't determined before their match, so to well, speak. Uh, you right? know, I, I, the disclaimers I thought sometimes might have been uh, unnecessary. Okay. Uh, the only people I knew that my grandmother, God bless her soul, uh, she always thought that the moonwalk was fake mm-hmm. and pro wrestling was real. <laughs> <laughs> but there weren't many of those out there. I think most people knew that there was a little bit of showmanship going on at the... But they didn't know exactly. He, they, the curtain hadn't been pulled back like it has now. Yeah. They also realized that uh, that the endings are predetermined. Mm-hmm. I hate to say here, maybe that's a revelation for someone. Hope yeah. some of these. Hope some of your ice road truckers in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, as I said to you earlier, I think have not gone off the road. You know? <laughs>